gold medal match. We have Rafa Hewitt and Sarah Ansbury. They're going to be on the near end to start us off in white. Zane Navratil and Michelle Esquivel on the far end. In, mm, I'm going to call it cream. It's like a creamsicle color. That's what I'm going to go with. We did see, of course, uh, Ansbury and Hewitt at the end of the bronze medal match, struggling a little with some heat-related issues, so they wanted to play. They wanted to give it their best shot here in the gold medal match, so. We'll get underway here shortly. Never so joking with Hewitt because his towel's on the other side of the court. He's like, come get it. <laughs> Knowing that Hewitt's struggling right now. <laughs> Make him take more steps. All right, Navratil and Esquivel receiving. They are coming through the top half of the bracket. So if they win this two out of three portion, there be our gold medalists. You know, we certainly understand that athletes want to give it their all and, you know, don't want to bow out for any reason, but we just want to make sure everybody's listening to their bodies and doing what's best for them. So certainly be keeping an eye on everyone's status as we get into this match. Nice finish there from Navratil. Good setup by Esquivel. Going hard cross court there and setting up Navratil for that put away. Navratil finally inserting himself right there in the middle and able to put that ball away down the middle. Again, we talked about it before, Lauren. You don't have to hit it hard. You got to put it in the right place, and that's exactly mm -hmm. what Navratil did right there. Good set up there, inside out from Michelle Esquivel, setting up Ansbury to the sideline, creating the hole in the middle. Beautiful put away. Two oh one. Patience there from both Navratil and Esquivel. These are some nice extended rallies here. 
so far in game one of our gold medal match here. Very impressed with the matching of all of our medalists and pro mm -hmm. uh, doubles today. Hewitt and Ansbury have been in all white today. Navratil and Esquivel are matching in the kind creamsicle. of pa creamsicle pale orange. And mm -hmm. our bronze medalists, Stratman and Nunnery, no. were in purple. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nice little cut there from Hewitt down the middle with the backhand. This is, of course, our final match of the day here at the New Jersey Open. We'll be back tomorrow morning with our men's doubles to kick off the day, and women's doubles will be later in the morning. Good spot, but good communication too from Navratil to Escovel, telling her you, you, you on that overhead. He could not get to it in time. 301. Oh, Ansbury with a little Ernie there, stepping outside. I have to say I'm very impressed so far with Ansbury and Hewitt just, you know, at the level of play that they're still at after seeing how much they were struggling after the bronze medal match. So they definitely had a lot of time to rest in between. They're looking much better here. We'll see if that can be maintained, but so far so good. I mean, you're so right, Lauren. I mean, Sarah Ansbury is the epitome of puke and rally right now. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. she d was sick as a dog over here. And look where she's at right now, playing in this gold medal match. And then as soon as that bronze medal match ended, Rafa Hugh was cramping up. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Navratil and Esquivel thought this was going to be a walk in the park, no. Ansbury and Hewitt are definitely showing them they got a little left in the tank and they're going to use it right here. Good lead from Ansbury there. Ansbury and Hewitt on the board. It's just a good spot from Escavel splitting Hewitt and Ansbury. That's a great cross-court drop there from Navratil, putting the pressure on Hewitt to get all the way cross-court. Unfortunately, not able to get there, and they add to their lead. Escovel trying to do a little too much with that ball. Great rally though throughout. Escovel trying to flip that, kind of slide it behind Ansbury right there. Unfortunately, goes way out. Put a great point all around by all four players right there. Still sitting on that little backhand flick from Hewitt. 
He's very upset with himself after that. Good communication from Esquivel telling Naver to watch it as she popped up that block. She gave some ground nicely, but unable to control the drive. Time out here from Ansbury and Hewitt as he hits that serve into the net. But they do get two back there and get within two. So it'll be a Escovel Navratil serve here up 5-3. Game one of this gold medal match here at the New Jersey Open. The stun starting to get a little lower in the sky. You can feel the temperature dropping a little, which has got to feel very good for our players that are still playing here today. All right, Escavel will be serving here as we get back from this jigsaw hydration break. Five, three, one. Five, three, one. Till there's no reason he should have lobbed that. Ansbury read his mind before he even did that. She was in the transition area already seven feet off the kitchen line, ready for that lob and to put away. Beautiful read by Sarah Ansbury. Great digs there from both Sarah Ansbury and Rafa Hewitt. Unfortunately, can't come out on top of that. Rafa Hewitt has tapped in to something mentally right now because knowing what his body was physically going through after the bronze medal to see him moving like this, I am, it's, he, he body swapped. Like this is somebody else's body that he's now using. I can't believe he's moving like he is. It's just astounding. Five, four, one. Yeah. 
fired up Michelle Escovel right there. As she hits that winner down the middle off of Ansbury's paddle. And they lengthen their lead to three here in game one of the gold medal match. Lauren, you've already said it, but Rafa Hewitt just channeling some inner beast right here. Mm -hmm. I just. Seven one here in this game one of our gold medal match, final match of the day. Dig from Ansbury. Incredible, about six shots ago, just to keep them in that right there. Nice. All or nothing right there from Hewitt as he goes for the Ernie, leaving himself wide open in the middle. Five one. Good digs over there from Navratil and Ascovel, but that last overhead from Hewitt was not coming back. Dom, this reminds me of that scene in Old School when they have the debate challenge and Will Ferrell's character has to debate. And he does like the most Blacks amazing, out. eloquent thing ever. And then he's like, I blacked out, what did I say? <laughs> Rafa Hewitt has blacked out. And he's just playing outrageous pickleball right now. <laughs> he's having an out of body experience right now. Nice put away for Zane Navratil right there. They are two points away from ending game number one. Nine, five, two. Nine, five, two. Rafa having a little trouble handling that Navratil serve there and it gives him a game point here in game one. And Sarah, equal trouble. So we have game number one in the books, going to Esquivel and Navratil, 11-5. We will take a quick sponsor break and be right back for game number two. Welcome back everyone to our final match of the day. It is our mixed doubles pro gold medal match. Sarah Ansbury and Rafa Hewitt will be on the far end for this game number two. Zane Navertil and Michelle Esquivel on the near end. Esquivel and Navertil coming out on top in game one after Hewitt and Ansbury put up a valiant fight. But ultimately, I believe that was 11-6-5, excuse me, 11-5 in game one. So if Navratil and Esquivel are able to take this game two, they'll be our gold medalists.
right idea from Esquivel. She had it. Hewitt mm -hmm. was letting that ball go no matter what, but just overhit it a little bit. Zero one one. That was so close, right mm -hmm. at that baseline. Beautiful little split up the middle there, Escabel. Ah, never till in between. Didn't know if you wanted to play that or let it go. He decided to play it, but just a little too late. One, one, two. Return a little long there from Esquivel. Oh no! She, someone blocked somebody. So Hewitt had it and Ansbury stuck her paddle out late and blocked the Hewitt reset. I thought Hewitt yelled you, though. He did. Okay. And it got by her. Oh. And so she he played it. I see, I see. But then she was a little late getting... It, it all happened so fast, I was slightly confused about what happened. Hugh, it's just a little stiff standing straight up on that. Yeah. If he is. What'd you say? What'd you say? Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Diane Unitich all over it. Money ball all over again. <laughs> Rafa Hewitt did indeed yell fudge very loudly when he missed that, but fudge was indeed what he said. I heard it yes. very clearly. Diane Unitich just making sure, though. Sarah looks over at me and goes, Moneyball all over. We had a situation in Moneyball, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> With the referee and Hewitt caught saying fudge, same exact thing. That's funny. He says it very convincingly. Good dig on the first one from Hewitt, but unfortunately not able to do much with that last one. We did see a very close game one for a while. Ansbury and Hewitt really able to stay in and hang with Esquivel and Navratil until they were finally able to pull away. Very similar situation happening right now. Very close. We'll see if either of these teams manages to get something going. Hewitt with a little stare down again, trying to get himself pumped up here. They could stay in this second game and force a third game. Closed really quick by Ansbury right mm -hmm. there. Esquivel saw a hole, but it was shut down quickly. Just a flash. Yep. 
and then Ansbury was there. We haven't really mentioned Thor's hammer yet today, no. Dom. I tried to pick it up when it was over here. I couldn't. You weren't worthy. No. We, of course, are talking about Sarah Ansbury's paddle, which we like to nickname Thor's hammer because it's so heavy. I think I, I think he got like four paddles on that ball he all hit, at once. He hit it three or four times as, <laughs> it, as it went by. It was like him. in between. He, he got it from behind, behind, front. job of Navratil backing up to play that ball. Unfortunately, he was still moving as he was trying to reset that ball. If he backs up to that transitionary, plants his feet and hits that, he's all right. Gingerly walking over there. Mm. Someone was asking how heavy is Thor's hammer. I believe it's in the nine something range. Is that correct, Dom? Heavier. Heavy. Ten something? Ten something, guys. There from Rafa Hewitt, he jumps he, that oof. for the Ernie, but then he, comes up. A, for it though. Comes up a little lame after he jumps for it, and they're going to take a timeout here. Oh, we do not have a timeout. Oh, Hewitt. I know. Like I, he said I, th timeout. Th yeah, I thought I heard that as well. But we play on. Patience there from Hewitt. You'll notice he's also turned his hat backwards. The sun has disappeared behind the clouds now. So definitely sun no longer a factor here as it's starting to set. Oh. Have to win this point after that shot. I know, I was like, don't you dare. Great Where's the dink me. pickleball, though? That's a yeah. point to put out after we saw that Jay Duvier behind the back shot. I think that rivals it. And now I think we have an actual timeout. But what an amazing get from Hewitt. That was so good. All right. Let's take a quick look at our first game summary, which Esquivel and Navratil won 11-5 see the unforced errors. Ansbury and Hewitt had 12 to Navratil and Esquivel's nine. Even on the third shot drives. A little more on third shot drops from Esquivel and Navratil as well as winners. And you can see, you know, those winners and unforced errors reflected in the score there of 11-5. Esquivel and Navratil picking up a little steam here in game two if they are able to win this second game they will be our gold medalists 
But honestly, I mean, MVP going to Rafa Hewitt. Doesn't matter how the rest of this match goes. MVP to Rafa Hewitt for, again, he's blacked out and he's just having an out-of-body experience right now. Yeah, it was... almost fell over in the anticipation of that shot. But Lux out and Avertil puts it in the net. 2-5-1. ball from Ascovel. I thought that ball was going out right off her paddle too. I did too. I thought it was flying out. Clean in. Catches that back corner. Five, two, one. Really nice job there from Navertil being very aggressive in his communication to Esquivel because she was coming for that ball and he called her off it and she still was kind of right there but she was able to, you know, pull back enough that it allowed him to have a good shot on it and they come out on top. Just Sometimes you do. You gotta just yell at your partner to get out of here. Just a win coming out of the sails here of Ansbury and Hewitt, unfortunately. running away here is Escovel and Navratil. They have all the momentum here trying to end this in two and take that gold medal. This may very well be the beginning of the end after just an outrageous display from Hewitt and Ansbury given the circumstances. Wow, Michelle. What a dig from Ascovel just to stay in that point and force the mistake from Hewitt. And we have a match point here, gold medal match point for Ascovel and Navertil. 10-2-1, they got two shots at it if they need it. And they will need it. Tom, do you agree that the MVP of this match goes to Rafa Hewitt, though. Oh, gutsiest effort to both Hewitt and Ansbury. Because we were doubting if they were even going to be able to come back out here and play this match. Mm -hmm. Let alone at this level, like I am. Nice match. Absolutely. Phenomenal effort from Sarah Ansbury and Rafa Hewitt, our silver medalist, just standing ovation.
for that effort. But a big congrats to Michelle Esquivel and Zane Navratil. They are undefeated through the entire day. They are gold medalists here at the APP New Jersey Open. Dom's going to head on over to our Franklin studio to chat with them before we sign off for the day. And we will be back tomorrow morning, same place, same time. Join us again for our men's doubles and women's doubles tomorrow on Saturday. And a big shout out to all you guys watching. Thank you so much. Big thank you to our sponsors, refs volunteers, spectators, all that good stuff. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with Dom in the studio. I'm signing off. See you tomorrow. Welcome back to the Franklin Pickleball Studio. I am with local, well, you guys kind of camped out here all day, really. I mean, <laughs> basically, Michelle Esquivel, Zane Navratil, their gold medal match victory over Rafa Hewitt and Sarah Ansbury. Um, just we were talking off camera before you guys got on here um, just about how that match was a lot closer than it's going to look in the books oh, as yeah. far as rallies go. And you were talking to Rafa about that. What are you kind of talking about when you say that, Zane, where it's going to look a lot closer? Right. Well, what I was saying to Rafa was that was not a five and two match based on like the quality of our, our points and the side out. Like the points were so very, very close. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Michelle and I. We're talking to Sarah at the beginning of it, and she's like, you know, Rafa is he's not doing well, and you know, obviously they played a ton, and we're like, hey, I turned to Michelle as soon as we're done with it, like I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Rafa, Rafa, and and Sarah are battlers, absolute battlers, and so there's a zero percent chance that they were going to throw in the towel, and they didn't, yeah. right? It was five and two, but you look at those points, you wouldn't if you were watching out there, you wouldn't even be able to tell who was winning, right? Right? Exactly. So. Some of those points were long, 30, 40 shot rallies that got very intense and a lot of those Michelle were between you and Sarah going cross court um, and I was you know saying it kind of as the day progressed you got more and more patient as the day progressed and it's nice having Zane telling you hey slow it down right oh yeah for sure like uh, I, I even like let him know like hey I'm gonna try this once and then I'll swap myself you don't have to arrive me like but uh, it's a good warning it's so good <laughs> to have like that kind of communication just because no one's perfect you know and, and Zane was great and yeah it was, it was a lot of fun we had a really good match yeah no and it was and again to give credit to your silver medalist Rafa Hewitt and Sarah Ansbury yeah. Sarah Ansbury the epitome of puke and rally uh, <laughs> coming back on the court and, and winning that bronze medal match to get here and then just the effort that both of them put in to kind of compete against you guys and like you said it wasn't the score does not dictate how that match went so congratulations to them and I know you guys got some shout outs you want to give out to right now after your gold medal win? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. It's Michelle oh, first. Michelle, Michelle, want Michelle yeah. first? Yeah, so I uh, wanted to thank my sponsors, Fane Foy for my skirt, Raya Eyewear for my eyewear, um, Power Balance for my paddles, and Naples Pickleball Center. Can't wait to teach there. Y quiero decirle todos en España que te quiero tanto y muchísimo y gracias por, por uh, ver nosotros. Sorry. <laughs> Zane? I, I can't top that. Are you neither, kidding me? No, neither can I. Well, I do Why have a couple. You to go of, first? I do have a couple awesome sponsors to say thank you to, which is Franklin and Duper. Um, we have also Therabody and Wilson. So they give me the shoes that I uh, that I usually destroy that by the end burn, of the day. So th through. these are a new pair. They're actually looking pretty good still by the end of the day. So yeah, right, well, absolutely. Well, hey, congratulations, guys. It'll be fun to see you guys in women's doubles and men's doubles tomorrow. So. Oh, wait. And APP. More Spanish. Huge shout out to APP. Let's go, Dom. Say it in go. Spanish. Let's go, Laura. Muchas gracias a APP. Oh, okay, all right. She was. She didn't uh, just have a one-liner like, settled. No, she just keeps going. If we don't <laughs> shut this down, she's going to keep going. So, hey, congratulations, guys. Good luck tomorrow in men's and women's doubles. That's it for day number one here at the APP New Jersey Open. We'll have men's pro doubles, women's pro doubles all day tomorrow. Join us then. We'll see you guys in the morning.